After Eric Carlson's been dealt to the Pittsburgh Penguins, I wanted to kind of explore Carlson's career and have a deeper discussion of where I think the Pittsburgh Penguins are currently at. Before I get into that video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like, comment down below, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We'll be having a $100 gift card giveaway once we reach 5,000 subscribers, and to enter that giveaway, you need to be subscribed and hit the notification bell as well. Let's get into it. Eric Carlson had a tremendous bounce back season last year in 82 games played 25 goals 76 assists for 101 points and yeah the plus minus wasn't great with the minus 26 he was phenomenal in the offensive zone and this is an aspect of carlson's game that hasn't been as prolific in the last few seasons and some of that was due to injury because in the season prior in 50 games played he had 10 goals 25 assists for 35 points that's not bad for a defenseman but it's nowhere near 101 points in 82 games played. So what was the reason why Carlson was so dynamic last year? I think for the first time in a long time, he was actually healthy and he looked a lot more like himself when he was playing in Ottawa in his prime. I would also have to caution though that San Jose Shark team wasn't that great. So when things needed to get going, they did have to give it to Carlson. He was the best player on a pretty bad team. So I don't think it's crazy to say that his point totals will go down a bit next season. And that's not to say he won't be a quality offensive contributor, but to expect him to hit 100 plus points every season would just be ridiculous. Where will this help the Pittsburgh Penguins? Now, looking at the Pittsburgh Penguins, they are currently $79,000 over the cap. That deal was an interesting one. And if you want a breakdown on the trade and who went where, I'll have a link to the previous video in the description on probably on screen as well. But looking at the Penguins, does Carlson make them a Stanley Cup champion? I just don't see it that way. You have Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin, two tremendous players in their later years, but they are in their later years. You're going to be expecting them to maybe miss a few games. Yes, they played all 82 last season, but they're getting older and they might get dinged up a bit. And if I'm going to be frank, having a few maintenance days throughout the season just might be a good idea. Offensively, they're not a powerhouse, but I think they're going to be about league average, maybe above average. Riley Smith, I do like that acquisition. I think he's a quality winger. Currently on cap friendly in the first line, they have Smith, Crosby, and Russ, which I think would be a solid first line. And then on the second line with Evgeny Malkin, Nieto, and Raquel. Not sure if that's how it's going to play out with Nieto on the second line, but hey, not a terrible second line, but not one of the best in the NHL. And then when you go down in the lineup, there's some players I really like. I like Jeff Carter at the age of 38. He's still contributing at an effective third line level. Nola Chari is a quality depth guy that can play third, fourth line role. Now I'll admit I'm a bit biased with Achari due to the Rhode Island connection, but I think in a third line role, he could flourish and maybe be around 30 points. And then on their fourth line with Pitlick, Eller, and Hinestroza, those guys could maybe get you around the 30 point total, depending on how the chemistry goes. Now let's go into the defense. As they have slotted, they have Eric Carlson with Ryan Graves, which I think should work pretty decently. Graves is a bigger body. Carlson will be able to kind of just wheel with the puck and get things going offensively. That could be a match made in heaven. And then on your second pairing, having Pedersen and Latane together should be a very solid second pairing. And then on the bottom pairing, Joseph and Rudwettel will be effective enough in a third pair role. Where things get interesting to me is the goaltending situation because in this trade, they did move to Smith. And I've kind of had that issue with the Penguins. I think Jari and DeSmith were a solid tandem, but I don't think either of them are good enough to get you the distance. Now with Tristan Jari, it's mainly because he struggles staying healthy. So moving away to Smith, I'm not disappointed about, but bringing in Nadelkovic, who can be very Jekyll and Hyde, I'm just not sure with Jari's health issues if Nadelkovic will be good enough in a more expanded role, but that should be interesting to see how things pan out as the season goes along. Overall, when I'm looking at the Pittsburgh Penguins, I look at a playoff roster, I just don't think as currently constructed, they're good enough to make a serious Stanley Cup run. They might be a first round exit team, maybe get into a second round if things pan out according to plan, but I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Does this Eric Carlson trade make the Pittsburgh Penguins a Stanley Cup contender, or do you think they need to add another piece or two? I'm Captain Paul. I'll see you in the next one.